are watching Channel News Dianhua. I am Kati bringing you the latest news. Chinese New Year is just around the corner. And have you ever wondered how do the Chinese celebrate Chinese New Year? Let's follow our young journalist Yi Tong and Bernice to find out how Dianhua teachers celebrate Chinese New Year. I'm Yi Tong and I am Bernice. Bernice, you look very excited. Why is it so? Yes, yes. Today we are going to pay a visit to Madam Liu Chang's house to learn more about Chinese New Year traditions. What are we waiting for? Let's, Let's go. go. Here we are at Madam Liu's house. Hello, hello Madam Liu. Liu. Hello, Bernice and Itong. Happy New Year! Oh, thank you very much. Okay, welcome to my house. Madam Liu, what will we be learning today? Okay, today we are going to learn how to make dumplings. Wow, I love to eat dumplings. They are yummy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you know girls why we eat and make dumplings during Chinese New Year? Yes, I know. Dumpling Shui Jiao are very significant in the Chinese culture. They are often eaten over the Chinese New Year when the family is together to celebrate Spring Festival. Dumplings are shaped like ancient Chinese gold ingots which symbolize wealth. Eating dumplings at this time is then seen as lucky and a way to symbolize prosperity and fortune in the year ahead. Oh, okay. You are right, Bernice. So, are both of you ready to make dumplings? Yes, we are ever ready! Yes, let's go! Wow, the shape of the dumplings really look like gold ingots. And I realize making dumplings are not easy. There are so many steps to remember. Mm, yes, correct, Yitong. Actually, this is a perfect opportunity for family members to work together and make the dumplings. Okay, let's boil it. Dumplings are ready. We are ready to eat too. <laughs> <laughs> According to tradition, the more dumplings you eat during the New Year celebrations, the more money you can make in the New Year. Then I want to eat all! <laughs> Aiyya, why is my dumpling so hot? Oh, it's a peanut! Wow, you are so lucky to have the one with the peanut. You know why? Traditionally, when family makes dumplings together, they will wrap a coin into the few dumplings. And the one who got the dumpling with the peanut will get the fortunes in the next year. But however, nowadays, the coins are replaced by candy or peanuts for sanitary reasons. Oh, I see. That means Yi Tong is going to have good luck this year. Hmm. Let me see if I have any peanuts in my dumplings. Does that mean I won't have any good luck this year? Mm, of course not. Remember, we mentioned just now that the dumplings are shaped like ingots. So even if you did not get the dumplings with the peanut, you are still eat an ingots. And the ingots also symbolizes fortune and the prosperity. So don't worry, all of us will have a plenty of good luck in this new year. Yay! We shall eat more ingots so that we'll have more luck! Oh, girls, do you want to know more about the Chinese in China? How to celebrate Chinese New Year? Yes, we are curious! Tell us, tell us! Okay, let me share with you of the video my cousin sent me last night. They are also prepared for the celebration of Chinese New Year. Let's see it. Is 
这新年的新衣服到了呀，两个宝贝呢。猜灯谜，猜对了有有奖品吗？是灯泡哟！来了来了。<笑>We have such a good time learning about the traditions of eating dumplings in Madame Liu's house. I miss those delicious dumplings. Oh, Yi Tong, I have a question for you. Bring it on. What are some other Chinese New Year traditions? Spring cleaning, wearing new clothes, exchanging oranges with friends and relatives, and not forgetting my favorite, receiving red packets. Ha <laughs> ha! You're right. But I miss one important tradition: Lo Hui, which is also known as Lao Yu Sheng. Oh yes. How can I forget about this? My family and I will lohei every Chinese New Year. Lohei is actually a Cantonese word which means tossing up good fortune. It is originally a simple dish of raw fish and seasoning eaten by the fishermen in Guangzhou to celebrate Chinese New Year. This ritual is adopted in Singapore where people gather around a massive plate and share the contents joyfully together while saying auspicious phrases before eating. It is also popularly believed that the higher you toss, the better you prospects and fortune in the year ahead. I see. So that is how it came about. Now let's go and take a look at how Lianhua teaches low hay. Let's go. Eh, why are there so many ingredients in this yisheng? Is there any special meaning for each of these ingredients? Of course, each ingredient here has its auspicious meaning. As we eat the yusheng, you will say something nice to bless everyone. Oh, that's so meaningful. So, what does each of these ingredients represent? Don't worry, I will let my expert team to show you. Okay, so for this raw fish, it represents abundance in every year, which also which will also say 年年有余 For pomelo, we will say 大吉大利 which means good luck and prosperity in the new year. For carrot, represent 鸿运当头 the good luck will shine on you. Okay, for green radish, it represents stay young forever, so we will say 青春常驻 Golden crackers represent 黄金满地 which means everywhere is covered by gold. 
As for the sour plum sauce, because it is very sweet, it represents a sweet and loving relationship. And so together we will say Tian Tian Mi Mi. Wow, just by listening to these auspicious phrases, I feel this new year is going to be a good one. Raw fish, sheng yu, nian nian you yu. Pepper, hu jiao fen, zhao cai jing bao. Zhao cai jing bao. Oil, yu, yi ben wan li, cai yuan guang jing. Yi ben wan li, cai yuan guang jing. Zhi ma, sheng yi xing long. Sour plum sauce, 酸梅酱，甜甜蜜蜜，甜甜蜜蜜。Golden crackers, 薄脆饼干，满地黄金，满地黄金。Enough of talking about all the ingredients. Let's start tossing and eating. Can we do it now? Okay, let's toss. Well, now I have a deeper understanding of low hay, and now I'm hungry. Shall we? This is Yi Tong and Bernice reporting live from Lianhua Primary School. Back to you, Cardi. Thank you, Yi Tong and Bernice, for the latest coverage. No matter how different the nature of these traditions are, they all share the spirit of togetherness that breathes life into Chinese New Year celebrations. Last but not the least, let's get into the festive spirit by soaking up the atmosphere of the Chinese New Year. Happy Chinese New Year!